Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie, and today I have four different Easter tear tray DIYs for you, four different themes, and I have lots of great Dollar Tree DIYs for your tear tray this Easter. So my theme is bunnies and carrots, and this is the tear tray we are going to decorate today. I'm going to display this on my kitchen table for Easter. So I wanted to start with kind of a larger piece for the top of my tear tray. I often do that. And I found these cute little signs with the little hopping bunnies at Dollar Tree. And so I picked up two of them. I want it to look like, you know, a lot of times people take these hopping bunnies and um, have them like on a stand and they look really cute. So I thought I would get kind of the same effect using a, one of these on each side of the top of my tear tray. Now... I really want them to be white. I did find them in two different colors and I am wanting to put them back to back. So I kind of need them to be like mirror images of each other. So I'm just going to take the bow and the little metal galvanized metal part on the ear off just using my heat gun. And then I can just flip that one over and use the back of it to make it look like the other side. So you'll see what I mean here in a minute. I kind of want to put them back to back, but I want them to be like hopping in the same direction. So it's not real obvious that they're going different directions. So just using some white acrylic paint, I am just working in one direction. It's okay if a little bit of the brown from the back of it shows through because it's going to give you that like wood grain that the other one is painted and they don't have to be exactly the same, but I'm just trying to get like, you know, the same kind of effect here. And I want to do like just all um, bunnies, like white bunnies, wood bunnies, and carrots for this tear tray. Something really simple, a lot of greenery, something really cute for Easter. So I did have to sand down some of the little staple holes and touch that up a little bit, but rustic is fine for this. So I'm going to glue the little bow on this side and the little metal on the ear. And now we have two mirror images of the bunnies. So I kind of want to display them like back to back like that on the ring that's on the top of my tear tray to kind of give me something fun and big to get this tear tray started. I need something to tie them on. So I'm just going to use some Dollar Tree twine, cut down a couple pieces try to here and just attach that to the back that way I have something to tie on to the little ring on the top of my tear tray so just going to attach those with hot glue I did find once I tied them on here um, that they did kind of wobble around a little bit so I did have to kind of further reinforcement reinforce it but it was a good start so I'm just going to tie it like right here on the top And it's going to cover up that like, you know, handle on the top of the tear tray. But I think it's going to give that cute effect of like the hopping bunny on a stand without even having to make a stand for it, right? So there's the first one. It's a little loose, but that's okay. And then I'm going to go on and put the second one on there. And since I mirrored them, now they're like hopping in the same direction. And so it's going to be cute from all sides. Um, since it's on my kitchen table, you're going to be able to see this tear tray from every direction. So every side of my tear tray needs to be cute. Now, I really want them to be flush with each other and they're kind of a little bit wobbly. So I'm just going to trim off the excess twine and then I'm just going to simply kind of attach them to each other using some double sided tape. I layered it on top of each other to make it a little bit thicker and I'm just going to double stick tape like one end together so that they'll stay flush. And that worked perfectly. 
Okay, I want greenery. And I found this great green garland at Dollar Tree the other day. They had several different varieties, but you get quite a bit of it for $1.25. And I thought this was really cute. I thought this would look like really good for like Easter. And so I want some for both tiers of my tier tray. So I'm going to like cut like maybe a third of it. And then so I'll have like one size for the top where it's small and the larger piece for the bottom where it's bigger. And this worked great. So just kind of stringing it in there, kind of doing some of the greenery filler first. And then we can kind of layer from there. And I got this tear tray at, I think, Bell's Outlet on clearance. Isn't it adorable? I love decorating with it. It's very rustic. And I love the round for my kitchen table. So we're going to put the larger piece down here. And I can always rearrange it later if I need to. Now, I thought it needed a little bit more greenery. And this is some foliage um, greenery from the Dollar Tree that I think I had left over from last year doing my Easter tear tray. They do have this again this year. I did make um, an Easter carrot pot with this stuff. I think it look, makes a great like greenery for carrots. And so I don't want it to have this long stem on it though. I thought that might be kind of obvious. So I'm kind of like pushing them up and kind of cutting that off just to give me some sprigs where I can kind of mix this greenery and with that garland greenery and kind of have it like shoot off the sides and stuff of the tear tray as well. So I'm gonna just start scattering them around. I kind of like to work in one direction where they're all kind of going out in the same direction. And just make that look a little bit fuller. I like the effect that, you know, where it's kind of like going over the sides of it a little bit. And I did do a carrots and bunny um, Easter tear tray last year. Um, similar, but this is different, all different items. So check out these great carrots at the Dollar Tree this year. This one is like an orange, like burlap color. It's got like a green felt um, greenery at the top. It does have a hanger on there, so I just to um, chopped that off. But I do like the little burm, the little twine bow at the top. And so I think this is going to be perfect to get us started here on the top tier of our tear tray. Just going to simply place that in there with the greenery kind of hanging out the side like that. Okay, these are my dollar spot finds from Target. They have these, they call them a prop pack, $3 and you get all three items. They used to call them like a, a tear tray starter kit, which basically is what they are. And I got a little carrot farm sign, a little bag of carrots, and a little farm fresh truck with carrots in it. But I want to use these first. Aren't these adorable? Five little carrots, like in a burlap bag. And I think it's going to be perfect for the top tier because it's nice and little. I can kind of prop it up against the pole there. So cute and so easy. Thank you, Target. Another Target dollar spot find is this adorable little bunny. It was a $3. I love the texture on it. I love the colors. It's very neutral. It doesn't like have any eyes or nose or anything like that. So it's kind of abstract looking. And I don't have to do anything to this. This is just perfect for the vibe I want to go for, for this Easter bunny and carrots tear tray. So he's a nice size for the top two. He's not too big. And he's kind of standing up, kind of looking over the edge of the tear tray. So we're going to put him right there. This is the other um, prop pack that I got at the Target dollar spot for $3. These are a great bargain because, you know, they come down to a dollar a piece. And so even cheaper than the Dollar Tree sometimes. This has got a little happy Easter house. It's got this little bunny and it's got some carrots that are super cute. So the... Little house is a little colorful for what I'm going for today, but I think we can make these work for this tear tray. And the carrots are kind of just kind of flat. Um, I didn't really think they were large enough to kind of stand on their own on this tear tray. And I'm not really digging the colors on the Happy Easter. So I was thinking maybe we could like combine the two together and uh, make something cute with the two of them together. 
So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to cut the uh, twine off of that and just flip it over and we're going to decorate the back. I thought we could do a similar paint job that we did on the Easter Bunny using some white acrylic, just working in one direction and letting a little bit of the brown show through. It's going to kind of make it look a little bit more rustic and just paint this white. Um, there's not really going to be a lot of room once I attach the little carrots to it for writing or anything like that. So I thought that would just be it. Just a simple little house with some carrots on it. It's just going to be a really cute size and something really cute to go on the tear tray and super easy. So we're going to put this on the top as well between our little bunny and our carrot over there. So cute. Now, this one I actually got at Walmart for $1.98. And normally I don't shop there, but I happened to be in there and this caught my eye. And it was only $1.98. I thought it was really cute. And it kind of adds a different element because the carrot's like not orange. It's not fabric. So it's going to give me like a little bit more texture. But it is nice and small. So I thought that would work well up here at the top tier as well, where I have less room. I'm just going to kind of sit it in there. Super cute, loving all of the textures and colors together. Now I wanted to do like a garland for the top and look at these little mini carrots from the Dollar Tree. You get 18 in a package. They are made out of like foam. And I thought it'd be really cute to like string carrots along twine. And then we could tie that around that top tier to make a little um, garland to go around it. So I measured out a piece of twine that was long enough to go around my top tier with a little bit extra so that I could tie it. And I thought like every two inches would be good. So just using my ruler and a Sharpie, I am just putting little dots on there so I'll know exactly where to attach the carrots. Um, a little bit of planning on this one, but it did make it go easier to attach them. So I think I'm going to be able to use like all but like one carrot in that package. I don't remember them having these carrots before, um, these little tiny ones. Um, they might be new this year. Um, and so I'm just going to do a dot of hot glue and just kind of glue that to the greenery that's at the top. Maybe a little bit to the foam, but you know, hot glue and foam don't work too well together. So I was trying to focus like on the little greenery part that comes out and having the little carrot dangle down. So this might work better with like a fine tip hot glue gun with like mini glue stick or something because this hot glue gun like gives you a lot of hot glue, but we're going to make it work. I'm trying to do like the smallest dots possible and um, using my little finger protector from the Dollar Tree so that I don't burn myself. And we're just gonna keep stringing. I'm trying to keep um, kind of them all going down the same direction. I don't want them to look too crazy once we get them all strung on there. But I did a, a different kind of version of a carrot banner like this last year on my tear tray where I used burlap and used those little adhesive felt carrot stickers to make a garland. And that turned out really cute as well. I like the 3D vibe of this though, that there's really no like banner. It's just like little miniature carrots hanging down. I love anything miniature. So I was able to use 17 of these before I ran out of room. And they're pretty cute. They're pretty perfect. Um, some of them have like some little dents in them or stuff like that, but pretty close to perfect. So we're just going to a string of these around and tie them off on the side. The like twine gives you another like earthy element and the little carrots I think look really cute up here. They're so small that they don't, they're not gonna really interfere with anything on the bottom tier as well. So this is a great option to decorate your top tier. Just trying to arrange them a little bit to make sure they're all going down. Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick uh, moment to tell you about my Facebook group. I have my Facebook group and my Facebook page linked below. I would love it if you would come see me over there. You're going to get some different content.
I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest at Crafty Beach on YouTube. And I'm pretty active on all of those. And I'd love to see you. Okay, our next DIY, I'm just going to use one of these little glazed pots from the Dollar Tree. You get two of these in a package, and I had one left over from a previous spring DIY. And then I picked up some of these little fabric carrots from um, the Dollar Spot at Target for $3. They're super cute. And they're a nice small size. They have green felt for the greenery. But you could always use the ones from the Dollar Tree as well. The little string wrapped ones are probably about the same size, but I really kind of like the plush feel of these. Now the greenery kind of like sticks together. So I was kind of like trying to like unfold it a little bit to give it a little bit more fun. And look how perfectly these fit in the little pot. And I think that's going to give you a great like carrot farm of vibe. I thought it needed a little bit of greenery. So I'm going to use some reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to fill in like the three little areas um, that have little gaps. And I also want some to kind of like go over the side to kind of give it that um, greenery feel. And I think that looks really cute. And how easy is that Easter DIY? It's going to fit pretty nicely down here. We're going to start decorating the bottom tier because we have the top tier all complete. And I think that looks really cute. Now, this is the only item that I have left over from last year. I got this at the Target Dollar Spot last year. It was so perfect that I kind of had to use it again. Just three carrots like strung together and orange, white and like wood with little yarn greenery coming out. So I had it. So I went ahead and used it anyway. Now, this is another carrot decor from the Dollar Tree. This one's a little different. It is the orange with white polka dots, and it's like a kind of a cotton fabric. So I'm just going to cut off the tag and the hanger. It's got like the little um, twine bow on there again. Great greenery. But I thought the variety of different materials on these carrots would make it super cute. These are really nice for $1.25 from the Dollar Tree. Very nice size, and you don't have to bake them, so win-win. This is another bunny that I got at the Target Dollar Spot for $3. This is similar to the one that we used on the top, except for this bunny is laying down. So I wanted to, you know, grab both of them just because they're so cute. Look how cute those are. I love them, and I think that's a great deal for $3. So we're going to kind of stand him up down here in front of that carrot surrounded by greenery I think he looks super cute and then I got this at Dollar Tree it is the orange carrot bead garland it's so cute it's got a little carrot on there orange with a green yard tassel it's perfect for this theme now this is the one I got last year this is the one I got this year so you can, I kind of wanted to show you they are a slightly lighter color this year, which didn't really matter. But I think I'm going to go with the one from last year. I think it's going to match some of my carrots a little bit better. But you could totally use the one from this year, too. I'm just going to kind of um, loop it, kind of lay it in there. It's not real long, um, so I don't think it's long enough to go from like tier to tier. So we're just going to kind of toss it in there. Kind of like loop it and lay it down in there. It's going to provide a little bit of color. It's got a cute little carrot on there. Just a fun texture. I also got this cutie at the Target Dollar Spot. A little white ceramic bunny for $3. I have the larger version of this one that I used to make an Easter centerpiece that was super cute. So I kind of wanted the smaller one too. I thought it'd be nice to bring a little white bunny in to kind of go with the color scheme that we have here because we have used a little bit of white. He's so cute. Okay, from that tear tray starter pack, remember the little truck with the carrots in the back that says Farm Fresh? I thought that would be a good addition down here on the bottom. And I have a little tiny bit of room here to the side of our bunny. And it's the perfect for that little carrot truck. Now, this is the third and final um, large carrot that I got at the Dollar Tree. This is like an orange and white gingham. 
Um, again, like a cotton, super cute. So another fun pattern, but we're staying with that orange color scheme. And I think this one's really cute. This one looks very like farmhouse, but the gingham is also really sweet, I think, for Easter. So just cutting the hanger and tag off of that. And we're going to kind of lay this one on the bottom as well. Kind of trying to figure out exactly where I want it. I do kind of shift it around a little bit. Um, and I think this is filling up really nicely. This tear tray was so easy to put together because of all these great finds. So this is a little carrot farm sign from the Target Dollar Spot from that thing as well. The colors are perfect. It's just the right size for a tear tray. So we're going to kind of work this in the greenery here, kind of by our little pot of carrots. And then this little bunny, remember it was from that first tear tray starter kit. It's just a simple little wood bunny. I think it's going to go great with all of the wood and colors that we got going on here. So I'm going to kind of work it in here. I want you to be able to read the carrot farm sign. So kind of off to the side. Super fun. And then I wanted to use a little bit of filler. I wanted daisies, but this is all I could find at the Dollar Tree was Cosmos. So I thought I could get that same kind of daisy look because we have a white flower with a yellow center. And so I'm simply going to just pop these off. We're going to scatter these around. It's going to give me a nice little spring element mixed in with that Easter bunny carrot thing. And it's going to work as great filler for this tear tray. So anywhere I have like a little exposed greenery or I just need a little something, I'm just going to pop a little flower in there. And I think that gives a nice little touch. Brings a little yellow in. So we're going to do like four down here at the bottom. And the other two up here at the top. And that is about all there is to it. I love how this tear tray turned out. It was a really fun tear tray to do and it looked so cute on my kitchen table. One that looks really good viewed from like all directions. So let me give you a little look around this cute little bunny and carrots themed tear tray before we move on to our next theme. I have lots of fun themes today and hopefully you'll get lots of crafting inspiration for your Easter tear trays. Isn't this so cute? I really love the little carrot garland. I think that's a really fun touch. The little pot of carrots was so easy to do and looks so cute. And I love just the carrots, the greenery, the woods, the colors on this are super cute and was really beautiful for Easter. I love the idea of throwing like a little flower in there here and there. I think that always kind of adds to the theme as well. This is how it turned out. And next up, we're going to be doing an Easter basket theme tear tray for my kitchen. So let's get started. First, I'm going to use some of this wired burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree to make it look like a basket. And then we're going to fill our Easter basket with some of this papery Easter grass from the Dollar Tree and a beautiful color of blue. So the first thing my Easter basket needs is a handle. So I'm going to kind of measure how much of that wired burlap I will need. I was um, definitely needing burlap because I want it to stand up kind of like an Easter handle. It's a little wide, but that's okay. We're going to work with what we have here. So I'm going to cut that and then just attach it to the sides of my wood tear tray with a dot of hot glue on each side. And this is going to fit perfect under my kitchen counter in my kitchen. For Valentine's Day, I did like a Valentine's sweets theme and I really liked that in my kitchen. So I thought I would do an Easter basket theme for Easter full of Easter candy and treats. So then... I measure how much it would take to cover all the way around my top tier of that same burlap ribbon and I'm going to cut that off and then I'm simply going to attach that all the way around just by adding a little hot glue here on the back of the tear tray and I'm going to kind of line the bottom of the burlap ribbon 
with the bottom of my tear tray. And you probably wouldn't have to do this step if you had like a tear tray with sides, like my other ones do have sides. But this is going to keep um, the uh, Easter grass in it and everything in it and kind of give it the feel of a basket. So then I'm going to glue the ribbon to itself here on the back with just a little bit more hot glue and just pull it tight so that it will stay in place. And this is, since it's two tiers, it's going to be like a two-tier um, Easter basket, if you will. So once I get that all on there, I am going to do the same exact thing to the bottom of our tear tray. So I'm just going to measure out another piece. I had almost exactly enough on this roll to do the whole project. And I think it's a roll that I had used before because it was open. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to attach it with some hot glue here on the back and pull it around and then glue it to itself. This one I do do an additional dot of hot glue on the front just to kind of keep it in place because this one was kind of larger. And we have our little Easter basket tear tray. So let's get it filled with some Easter grass. This Easter grass I got at the Dollar Tree, it, there's a ton of it. I only used a very small amount. It's like a beautiful color. It's the same color as my kitchen, so that will make it go nicely. And I'm just gonna kind of spread it around. Not too thick, but not too thin. I don't really want you to be able to see the wood through. Um, all the way around my tear tray. And I still have plenty of this left to use for Easter baskets or whatever else. And then I'm going to do the same thing up here on the top tear tray. And then we can start filling it. I'm going to do like a combination of um, Easter candy DIYs with actual Easter candy. So this was actually really easy to put together and it turned out so fun. I think everybody's really going to enjoy this. So let's get started on our first DIY. I'm going to use a little Peeps coloring poster from the Dollar Tree and just a wood sign that I had left over from Halloween from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm just removing the tag of the hanger because this is just going to stand up on our tear tray. And you can see the sign was all wrinkled. For some reason, they glued this picture on top of the exi existing picture going the other direction. So... I didn't think it was going to be a very smooth surface to work with, so I started trying to peel the paper off. It was really glued down though. Um, they really didn't want me to <laughs> clean this up. So I did have to go in and sand it. It was funny when I got it, when I started getting um, somewhere with this, you can see I revealed the same image again with more glitter. I'm like, oh Lord, <laughs> I just want a plain surface. But I got really aggressive with my power saw and I got most of the paper off. And this is the color we're going to use today. It is pink parfait and it's this really nice bright color of pink. I think I picked this up at Walmart. So I'm going to just go over the whole sign with a nice thick coat of that pink paint. Try to get maximum coverage over what little paper I do still have left on the sign. And you can use whatever sign you have. But this was the perfect size for that little poster that I picked up. That Peeps poster from the Dollar Tree. So once I get one coat on there and dried, I just had to go over with one more coat to cover up all the paper that was on there and the existing green that was on the sides. And this is the poster we're going to use. It's a little coloring poster from the Dollar Tree. They had lots of varieties of these at my store. And I picked the one up that had the little Peeps logo on there because I thought that was really cute. So all I'm going to do is use my scissors and carefully cut all the way around the logo. All I want is the logo and the little Peeps creatures there on the top. And it came with like a little marker kit to color it in. But I'm going to actually paint it and make this like handmade sign. And this project turned out so cute. So I'm just making sure that I try to get like the outer black line. As I cut all this out, 
And that is the perfect starting piece for our tear tray. So to attach it to the little pink sign that we have now, I'm just gonna use a really uh, thick layer of a Mod Podge. And that will glue it down. I wanna make sure that all the edges are down, but I don't really want a ridge of just hot glue on the bottom. So I do take um, it all the way to the top. Not hot glue, Mod Podge. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it here towards the bottom part of the sign. That's gonna give me enough room at the top um, to paint a message. And I want it to say, um, hanging with my peeps. I thought that would be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry that and then go over the top of it with another coat of Mod Podge to make sure that it is really flat and glued down against my sign. And that worked really well. So then I'm gonna go in with my heat gun and dry that again. And we are ready to paint. I'm gonna use a black paint pen and I'm gonna do my very best to try to put hang in, hanging on the top. If I wanted it to be perfect, I could have used my Cricut, but I thought I could get it pretty close. So once I start um, painting it on there, I realize the paint pen is like a little um, too wide to do the next couple of words. So I switched up to a Sharpie because it's going to give me more of a finer tip. And I'm going to do with the like in just like a cursive font just to kind of mix it up and uh, make sure that fits in there nicely. So now we have hanging with my peeps. And I do go over that um, a little bit more to make that a little bit thicker, but that worked out really well. Now we have to paint our little peeps. So I picked out a couple of paint pens that were colors that reminded me of peeps. I can't do really good pink because I have a pink sign. So I'm gonna do two of them in yellow, the little bunny and the chick. And don't worry about covering up the black parts because you can go back in there later and go over that again. But I do kind of try to go around them so that you can still see where, the, where they're at. So I'm gonna do this little chick blue and then I'm gonna do this little bunny in purple. I was trying to remember like what color all of the little peeps are. The little sugar creations for Easter, they're so sweet, full of marshmallows. So they all um, painted really well, except for the lavender one. It wasn't great. So I did have to go over that with a second coat of that paint while um, after I dry it. Then after I get everything all touched up, I'm gonna go around all the edges and like the eyes and the nose or mouth on all of them and just draw over that again with a Sharpie to bring out all the detail. And this, I'm gonna have this like as a major focal point of my tear trade. I think it turned out so cute. What do you think? So let's go ahead and put it on the top. Just kind of bury it down in our little Easter grass and kind of lean it up against the center of my tear tray. And I think this is a great piece to start with. Okay, up next, I found these at the dollar spot at Target. And they're little containers of Play-Doh, but they're peeps, so that I thought they'd be perfect. They were a dollar a piece. So I'm gonna kind of deconstruct them here. Just take the plastic wrapper off. I got the yellow chick and I got the pink bunny. You could leave them just like this, but I decided to go ahead and take the stuff out that was inside of them. It was Play-Doh and like a little cookie cutter for Easter. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with a little yellow um, chick. It did have a tag on the bottom that I did have to kind of work to get off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open that one up and take that out too and maybe I'll be able to use those for other projects. So I'm gonna pop my little Easter chick back together and these DIYs are ready to go. How easy is that? They're perfect for an Easter basket themed tear tray. So we're gonna kind of just put him, them down here on the bottom of our tear tray, standing them up in our Easter grass and they look right at home in our little Easter basket. They're so cute. 
And this next item I actually got at Walmart last year for 98 cents. It's just a plastic bunny that snaps together and it looks just like a chocolate bunny. My husband actually asked me if he could eat it, so it must look real. <laughs> but you could always paint a plastic bunny brown and get kind of the same effect. I'm going to stand this one up in the back here, kind of peeking out the side with a little chocolate bunny for our Easter basket. Okay, up next is a bath bomb that I got at the Target dollar spot. It's a Peeps one, so I was hoping it would be in the shape of a Peeps, and it is. It's this little blue chick, and it is wrapped in plastic, so I do go ahead and remove the plastic from the bath bomb. It, it's cute. It's a little rough. It's not near as cutesy as the little Play-Doh holders. Um, and I thought maybe it needed just a little bit of outlining. So I go in with a Sharpie and I just draw on the eyes on the little chick and give some definition to like uh, the beak and like the bottom of it where there was like some little indentations. And it's another sweet little touch of peeps for our tear tray. I think it turned out okay. I don't know. I think I might have went with another Play-Doh holder. But it's something a little different. So we'll put this down here in our Easter grass as well. We'll do this one here on the top next to our little peep sign. And this tear tray is coming together nicely. The next um, DIY is a Easter egg um, candy dispenser from the Dollar Tree. So easy peasy. All we're going to do is fill this with some jelly beans. I got these Fruit Loop ones at the Dollar Tree because they looked really small and I was hoping that it would work in the mechanism. So I got two bags to fill up our little Easter egg. They also have this in the Easter Bunny one. I think that one's pink. And all I'm going to do is fill it up. That's it. And look, it actually works. Yay, we have a little jelly bean dispenser for our tear tray. And that's going to go perfect with our candy theme. So we're going to put this one down here on the bottom, over on the side. It's going to give me a little bit of height. It's got the Easter egg shape, nice pastel color, and it actually works. So the next step, look at this, we're just going to use candy. <laughs> So these are just some peeps from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to put them in our Easter basket. I got the yellow chicks, and I'm just going to kind of um, sit them up with maybe a little bit more grass behind them than in front so that you can kind of see them. And since they're sealed in that plastic, they're going to be fine to sit on the tear tray without attracting bugs or anything. And then I also got some of these little candy uh, bubblegum eggs. Um, from the Dollar Tree, you get four in a package, and I'm just going to use one. And they're just little cute little egg containers full of bubblegum eggs. I thought that'd be perfect for our Easter basket. And again, they're nice and sealed, so I don't have any problem but putting that in my tear tray. And we're just going to put this one up on the front here in front of our hanging with the peep sign. And then I got this little um, carrot um, full of bubble gum at the Dollar Tree as well. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the plastic and the stickers from all of it. I'm going to dump the little gumballs back inside our little carrot and reattach the top. And this is going to be fun because it's going to give me a little height. It's going to give me um, some more candy and a carrot for our tear tray. So I'm going to put this one on the top here back here to give a little bit more height to that top part of the Easter basket tear tray. I picked up this at the Dollar Tree as well. It is just an Easter cookie. I am going to put that on the back. I'm going to use like um, a little um, easel holder that one of my friends made me to make that stand up. But you can use whatever you have. And I'm going to put that in the back of our Easter basket. Okay, next DIY, I'm going to use some of these Peeps treat bags from the Dollar Tree and then a white um, glass sign from the Dollar Tree as well. I thought this would be an easy DIY because the bags have like a clear background and so I can just put that on something blank like the back of this white um, ceramic sign. So all I have to do is get that tag off the back 
I'm not going to worry about this thing on the other side. You're not going to be able to see it, but this is going to be the perfect size for a tear tray. The bag is like exactly the right width for our little sign. And so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it in half. I could use either one of the images. They'd both be perfect. I do go with the uh, bunnies and the chicks. And uh, you have to have some really sharp scissors to make sure that you get a clean cut. But then I'm also going to cut the bottom off the bag and the sides. It's going to give me a little square with the little peeps image on there with the clear background. And this project was so easy. All I'm going to do is put down some Mod Podge here on that white glass side. And then I'm just going to lay the little plastic treat bag on top. And look how cute that is. So easy. I'm not going to Mod Podge on top. I'm going to kind of leave that as is. And what an easy little sign for a tear tray. And it goes with the little peeps theme perfectly. So let's go ahead and put this on our tear tray. We're going to put this one down on the bottom. And it just so happens to match the pink peep bunny and the yellow chick that are right next to it. So perfect. Um, some more candy I thought would be fun would be some of these little robin eggs in a carton from a Target back in their Easter section. And I'm going to kind of stand that up on the back of my tear tray to fill in. Um, some space back there and to give a little bit more height, but you can see that from the side. Also got these at Target. They're the little Reese's Pieces um, carrot, that shaped like a carrot that is. And I'm just going to kind of cut off some of the UPC code and the nutrition facts. Just so you can kind of see the green part at the top of the carrot. And then we're going to put this on the tear tray as well, um, kind of towards the back. And the fun part is we can eat all this stuff um, on Easter, right? <laughs> so multi-purpose decorations. And it is complete. We have our little Easter basket tear tray. I think it's really fun. I totally think the peeps really scream um, Easter. And I love all the little candy it touches. And it's super fun that it's in my kitchen. So it's kind of food related as well. And it has lots of goodies on there for us to snack on. Now I did find that I have Dollar Tree Plus this year and they have a lot of like the larger Peeps Easter decor as well. Um, some of those pieces might work well for a tear tray, but I think a lot of them were like on the larger scale. But I really enjoy Peeps decor for Easter. I think it's really whimsical and fun. Now coming up next, we're going to be doing a little bit more of a carrot themed tear tray. But first I wanted to let you know about memberships here on my channel. For $4.99 a month, you can get early ad free access to my videos. And all you have to do is hit that join button under today's video. This is what we're going to decorate. This is my three tier tray from Target, the galvanized metal one. And let's get started. So I found these at the Dollar Tree. They're just listed as foliage, but they kind of reminded me of the greenery at the end of carrots. So I want a lot of carrots and a lot of like browns and woods and bunnies in my tear tray today. And so I thought it would be good to start with greenery, a lot of greenery. So I'm just gonna go ahead and separate these two bunches into their individual stems. I'm just using um, my floral scissors that I got at Dollar Tree and just cutting them all apart. That way I can like sporadically like spread these all over my tear tray. And um, it's gonna give me like a very random look of different greenery in all different directions. So I'm gonna start here on the bottom and just kind of spread out like about five of those all around and kind of have them hang out the sides of our tear tray a little bit. Just add a little bit more character and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to work my way up until I have used up all of that greenery. Four on the second and a two on the top. And here is the next set of greenery that I found at the Dollar Tree. This is also listed as just foliage, but this is more like a fern. But I thought this would be really fun too. 
doesn't really matter what you use. You can kind of use whatever you can find. I know greenery at Dollar Tree can be hard to find. I always try to pick it up when I see it because they always seem to have so many flowers and so little greenery. So I'm doing the same exact thing on this one. I have two bunches. I'm going to cut them all apart into their individual stems with my floral scissors. And then we're going to move to the tear tray and start decorating with this greenery as well. This is kind of bigger and more fernier and I'm just going to kind of go in all the little spaces in between the first set of foliage that we used and just start filling in all the holes. It can be very random. This isn't very much like a, a carrot greenery, but it doesn't really matter. I think it looks really cool for Easter. And then this is some lamb's ear that I had left over from a Walmart. So I had used this on my Thanksgiving tablescape, I believe. And so I have two long pieces. I'm just gonna cut them both in half there and it's gonna give me four little short pieces here and we can use this to decorate it further. I thought like this velvety like leaf kind of added a nice contrast, it's a little bit different color of green. So I'm gonna work a couple of those in on my bottom. And I know that I'm filling up most of the tier space, but that's okay because I'm gonna kind of like work things in just kind of building the greenery first and we'll go from there. Now this is one of those little reefs that I picked up at the Target dollar spot for three dollars and I thought this would be perfect for the top tier because there's like a pole in the middle and it's round and it's going to give me just a little taste of boxwood um, on the top tier of our tier tray. And I'm really sorry if you can hear the crickets in the background crickets are so loud right now at my house at night and i thought they had stopped and now they started back up again so i'm just going to put that one on the the reef on the top tier and then just fill in what greenery i had on top okay up next are some target dollar spot finds i got these moss bunnies and they're so cute um they're in a couple different positions and I thought I could work these into my tear tray. I'm going to put the standing up one on my bottom and the one that's laying down here on my second tear tray. Just kind of wherever they would fit nicely. And I also got the little moss bunnies in the smaller size. So this was two for $3 also at the Target dollar spot. And these are a lot smaller, but I thought it would be fun to have a couple different size of the moss bunnies on the tear tray. Totally goes with my like carrots, greenery, bunny theme. So I'm going to go ahead and work these two cute little guys into my tear tray. I'm going to do uh, this one here on the bottom. Just kind of working him in the greenery there. And I'm going to put another one on top, kind of hiding there in the foliage as well. I love the moss bunnies. I think they're so cute. Okay, I also found these cute little guys at the Target dollar spot. They look like wood, but they're not. And they were each $3 at the Target dollar spot this year. And I think these are the perfect size for a tear tray. So easy peasy, I don't have to do anything to them. I'm just gonna take the tags off and these guys are gonna be ready to go for our tear tray as well. And I kinda got two of them in two different positions as well. I'm gonna put one down here, I think, on the bottom, just kinda working it in. This one was a little bit taller. It's kinda standing up and peeking out. I love how all the bunnies on the tray are all doing something a little bit different. And then I'll work this one in here on this tear tray, kind of peeking over the fern. And then they also had them in this smaller size. So this is also another two pack for $3 from the Target dollar spot. And you get two little bunnies that kind of look like wood. They are made out of glass, but they're painted with that like wood look. You could always recreate that if you wanted to like um, have like a what have a white bunny and distress it like with some antique wax or some brown paint and you can kind of get that same feel but these guys are ready to go I told you this tear tray was going to be easy 
They are a little short though, so I'm gonna use some of these little, um, I guess they're like little cut logs from the Dollar Tree as some little risers just so they can peek up above the greenery. And I'm gonna work them in here on the top tier of our tier tray. I also got this at the Dollar Tree. It's bunny bait, fresh carrots. It's perfect. I don't have to do anything to it. I thought this would be perfect down here at the bottom because it's nice and tall and it totally goes with our carrot and bunny theme. And the colors are perfect. I love it. And I didn't even have to make it. Now I found this at the Target Dollar Spot. It's a tiered tray builder kit and everything in this is perfect for the theme that I'm going for with this. It's $3, you get all these pieces for that. So it's kind of even cheaper than the Dollar Tree. You get, there's the little framed house there with the bunny. There is three stacked wood carrots and also a little another little wood bunny there. Look how cute these are. So it's perfect with the brown and the greenery. And we have our little bunny there. That's going to be awesome for the tear tray. I wasn't sure I was going to use all of them, but I did. This one's wood on one side and like a gingham on the other. I think I'm going to use the wood side. That's going to go more with my theme. And then the carrots are really cute. They're all tied together. They have little like yarn greenery on the end and the colors again are perfect. So these are all gonna go on our tear tray. So let's go ahead and find a place to put them. I'm gonna put this little bunny down here on the bottom with the wood side out and kind of rearranging as I go so that there's enough room for all the bunnies down there on the bottom. And then the next piece, I'm gonna use that little bunny house. We're gonna work this up here on this shelf. And sometimes you can kind of sit stuff on top of the greenery. Sometimes you kind of have to like kind of dig a little hole. I'm going to also put the little carrots down here on the bottom, kind of sticking out like that. And how cute are those? I love them. Now this one is from the Dollar Tree. It is a yard steak and it's a metal a carrot. It's so cute. I thought I could do something fun for the top of my tear tray with this. Now it does have the stake attached to it. It's attached here at the bottom and it's also attached at the top. So I'm using a pair of pliers to try to pull that off. Now usually these like yard stakes from the Dollar Tree are not well made and they pop right off. This did make me work for it a little bit. I tried bending the wire back and forth but that didn't really do it. So what I ended up having to do is to take my pliers on that bottom piece of the carrot and kind of pull it off the wire and that did disconnect it. Now it's also attached here at the top behind the leaves. It's a little hard to get to there. So I found the best way was just to go ahead and use my loose wire there at the bottom and kind of unwind that all the way around until I can kind of get at it a little bit better because it's like all exposed. And then I'm going to pull that away. And, you know, it might have been easier to use a little heat on that, but I was able to get it all apart. And I thought this would be perfect because I can just slide this on the top of my tear tray. I have the little pole that sticks out the top. And it's going to be the perfect little final decoration here for the top of the tear tray. And let me show you how this looks on there. And it kind of like bounces around. It's kind of cute. Another little carrot touch we're gonna put together with this. Now these are from the Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. They are carrot wood beads. Check this out. They have the green tassel, the orange beads, and a cute little carrot at the end. They are absolutely perfect for this tear tray. And again, they are ready to go. I don't have to do anything to them. They're a little loose, um, but that's okay because it's gonna allow me to work it around on my tear tray a little bit better. So I'm just gonna kind of sit it here on my second shelf. I like to like have like the little carrot, you know, hang over the side. And then I'm just gonna kind of like lay that down into like the, the tier below it and kind of have the tassel there as well. 
Now this I get at the Target Dollar Spot. Last year is a fabric carrot. These are the ones they have this year. They kind of have the cuter greenery, but I'm already using this on my Easter coffee bar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of these that I had left over from last year. Just to add another carrot, kind of give me some height down here on the bottom and just kind of sit that in the middle. And then I got four packages of these carrots at the Dollar Tree. They're a nice size carrot. They're like wrapped like an orange string and they have the little greenery attached as well. And oh, they're perfect. I absolutely love these. They have these in a couple different sizes at the Dollar Tree. They have a shorter one and they also have like one that's like orange and yellow. Not a big fan of that one, but I really like these and I'm just gonna just spread these all over the tear tray to really go with that carrot theme that I want for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use all four packages. So I'm just gonna kind of go around the edges and just kind of start spreading these out all over. Can't really have too many carrots on my carrot theme tear tray. I do go back after I get them all on here and kind of have them kind of going all in the same direction on each tier, like I would have like the bottom tier all lean to the right, the middle tier all lean to the left, and the top the top tier all lean to the left. Just kind of make them look like they're all going in the same direction. It turned out really cute. So just working those all around in our greenery. I don't wanna push the greenery around too much. I wanna kind of work around it so that you can still see that when we are done decorating our tear tray today. And I love how this turned out. I just can't believe how easy this um, tear tray was. This is probably the easiest tear tray I've ever had to do because most of the products were ready to go. I do have a, a, a DIY coming up soon. But I'm gonna go ahead and fill in carrots wherever I see a hole. I'm also gonna put some carrots up here on the top. And I do have more Easter um, tear trays coming. I have plans for four. Hopefully I can get all four tear tray DIYs up for you. And I know I only had one video last week and one video the week before. We had lots of family visiting for spring break and my goodness, they took up a lot of my time. So this is our DIY. I thought it would be really cute to do like a little mini pennant banner to go around one of the tiers. So this is the burlap that you can get at Walmart. It's $2.97 a yard. I find this is the cheapest way to buy burlap and I'm just gonna cut off a little strip here. I just wanna do like just a very tiny pennant banner um, with this burlap. And I found some little orange felt carrot stickers at the Dollar Tree. So I thought that would be the perfect decoration for it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out like a little triangle piece. One that would be big enough for the little carrot sticker to fit on. So I'm just kind of trying to cut out something symmetrical. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. These are so cute from the Dollar Tree. And see if the carrot's gonna fit on there nicely. And I think that's gonna be so cute. I'm just gonna use the burlap. I'm not gonna use any other kind of fabric or anything like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a straight line there at the top. And now I'm just gonna try to make it look a little bit more symmetrical. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that triangle as my pattern to cut out more. Now to string my pennant banner together, um, I found a really great little um, orange and white baking twine at the Dollar Tree, and I thought that would be perfect. So I measured my, I'm gonna get, wrap it around my second tier, and it was about three feet, 36 inches. So I'm just gonna measure my twine and cut that out just a tiny bit longer than, than 36 inches. Then I thought, you know, we could do like maybe a pennant banner like every six inches. So three feet, so spread them out like that. I'm gonna need um, six of these little triangles. 
So I have them kind of just folded up and going to cut out a couple at a time until I get enough of these. And they don't have to be perfect. And it's okay if they fray a little bit. I'm just trying to get them all to look about the same size. And we have six. So this couldn't be easier since these are little felt carrot stickers. All I have to do is peel the paper off the back. And I'm just going to kind of put them on there like this, the same direction as the triangle. And they're so cute and they fit on there perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that same thing for all six of our little pennant banners. And I think that's going to work out perfectly. So it's three feet around, so we have two for each foot. So every six inches, we're going to have one of these little carrot pennant banners. Now to attach that to our twine, I thought the easiest way would be just to glue it on there. So I'm just going to kind of lay that out and use my hot glue gun to put a little bit of hot glue along the top of that and just put my little burlap banner on top. Easy peasy. I don't have to work with a seam on top or anything like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use my tape measure so I can measure to get these all on there evenly. And since I want them six inches apart, I'm kind of measuring like left side to left side. Um, that is going to give me a perfect disbursement of these. And then I'm just going to keep working along and hot gluing one of those little carrot pennant banners every six inches. And this turned out so cute. I'm so glad that I decided to add this to our tear tray. I was going for easy peasy. And I am so excited with how this turned out. Some of the themes I think I'm planning for in my other Easter tear tray. I'm thinking about doing like an eggs and chicks tear tray. Um, an Easter candy or Easter sweets tier tray. And then I was thinking like, you know, like a coastal farmhouse Easter tier tray, you know, cause I gotta get that beachy vibe in there, at least one of my tier trays. So to attach it, I'm just gonna do a little dot of hot glue on the outside of my tier tray. You could tie it. I was just going um, for easiness. And I'm just gonna string this along all the way around the top of our tier tray. Kind of working around that beaded gar garland that I already have on there. And keep stringing this around. This turned out really, really, really cute. Those stickers are adorable. And I'm going to keep working my way around until I get to the other side. Um, the other side of our twine, I'm going to go ahead and attach that with hot glue as well. And there was a little tiny bit of twine left over that I do just tie together. And that part of the DIY is done. Now, I have this sign that I got at the Dollar Tree. And it's not perfect, but it's really cute. So I thought I could make some little tiny signs with this for our tear tray. Super easy way to make some signs. So the first thing I need to do is to try to detach it again um, away from the little burlap sign it has on the back. And so I used my heat gun and pulled it apart. It was attached with glue in like one staple. And then I'm going to take this to my saw and cut this up into some small signs for our tear tray. And I got three signs out of it. I got the hippity hop carrot patch. I got the little carrots with the bunny that says a quarter. Oh, they're so cute. If you don't have a saw, you can totally cut these thin signs from the Dollar Tree with an X-Acto knife if you go over it a couple of times with a cutting mat. So we're going to go ahead and use all three of these signs. And I'm so glad that I thought to do that. What an inexpensive way to get three signs for your tear tray. And they're perfect for our theme. So I'm going to do the little bunny one down here on the bottom. It's the largest one. And I kind of have the little carrot patch sign, the first one, um, on the front of my tear tray. So it looks really, really cute. 
I'm just kind of sitting that on top of the greenery, kind of propping up that carrot that was behind it. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this one on the second tier tray too. Kind of cover up the back of the other sign there. And just kind of arrange it in there. You don't really have to use a stand or anything. I've got so much greenery going on in there that everything kind of stands up on its own. And this is how it turned out. Our little carrot themed tear tray. So cute. I really love using all of that greenery. I really think that made a big difference on this one. But hopefully you got lots of fun little crafty inspiration from this one. I really enjoy that pennant banner. I think it's so cute. But all the greenery looks great combined with the carrots. And there's so many options for carrots at Dollar Tree right now. I'm really um, impressed with like their selection of stuff like that. They even have like realistic looking carrots if that's what you're looking for. Okay, are you guys ready for another tear tray DIY? The next one, I'm going to do another three tear tray. I actually have two of these. I got them at Target. And we're going to do chicks and eggs. Now, this was my inspiration piece for the whole thing. This is a yard stake from the Dollar Tree, and it's a very, like, rustic, weathered little chick. All I'm going to do is pop the yard stake off the back. Super easy. And I'm going to go ahead and peel the tag off. I was thinking I should have got two of these. I could have put them back to back. But... Where this tear tray is going, you're only going to be able to see the front, so I think it's going to be okay. Um, sometimes I like to do a large piece like this for the top of my tear tray. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my heat gun to kind of take that little burlap bow that was on the post. And that's going to be the perfect thing to cover up the little hole on the top here. So I'm just going to attach that with a little bit of hot glue. And I think this little chick is ready to go. I love the weathered appearance. It goes really well with my coastal farmhouse decor in my house. And the only thing I want to do is make it where I can attach it to the pole on the top of my tear tray. So I'm just going to cut off a piece of twine. And then I'm just going to attach that to the back of our little chick with some hot glue. Now... My first tear tray I did a couple of days ago was really pretty. I did the carrots and the bunnies and the greenery. Now the theme for this one is just very whimsical and fun. So let's go ahead and attach this to our top of our tear tray. I'm just going to use that twine to tie it around that pole right there. And that is a great first piece to get get us started on this tear tray okay up next I want to fill in all of our trays with some filler and I thought this Spanish moss from the Dollar Tree would be perfect and I also want to fill it in with eggs so I got these little uh, like string wrapped egg picks at the Dollar Tree I got them in every color, purple, pink, blue, and green. And they're these great pastel colors, and they're really rustic looking. I think they're going to be perfect. Like, no glitter, no sparkles. I love them. So when you're pulling them off the little um, picks, be really careful, because the glue they used on the bottom of these is really gooey, and it likes to stick on the first string. And... Um, a couple of these, a couple of the string came loose a little bit, which I just had to glue back down with a little bit of hot glue. Um, if you took your time, though, and kind of twisted it and saw where the glue was, you could kind of prevent that. So I'm trying my best to not do that, but it did happen on a couple of my eggs. And I don't know what kind of glue they used on them, but it was really gooey. I kind of wish they hadn't put any um, picks on them in the first place, but that's okay. And I'm going to go ahead and use all of these eggs for filler. So I'm going to use the Spanish moss to kind of make a nest on each one of my tiers. And then I'm going to fill it in with these little string eggs. So I use um, one package on the first and the second tier. It's like almost impossible um, to get the stuff out without making a mess. <laughs> so be prepared. 
So I use a little bit to fill in this first tier where it's nice and small. I use the rest of that package to do the second one. But first I'm just gonna toss in a couple of those little string eggs. And this is our second tier. And I thought this gave me like a nice like nest appearance and it's gonna fill up a lot of the dead space. I don't have quite as many items on this tier tray that I, it did on my last one. So I want it to look as full as possible. So just kind of assort, like assortment of those little string eggs all around. And then I'm gonna use a whole package of the Spanish moss here on the bottom on this nice big tear tray. And again, just making a little nest, just spreading it out the best that I can. And then I'm just gonna toss in all the rest of those eggs. And that's gonna give me a nice place to start with cause I wanna do like all chicks and eggs for this tear tray. And here's our first little chick. I got this little stuffed animal at the Dollar Tree. It's the one that's laying down. And I thought that was really cute. They also have one that's sitting up um, that has like a little egg on its chest. So I'm just gonna remove all of the tags. And it's kind of got like a cheap little yellow ribbon on the neck that I'm not a big fan of. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off and replace that with maybe a little bit better. I'm gonna use some of this burlap um, ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna cut off a piece of that and tie a little simple bow and then glue that back on our little chick just to get, give a little detail, make it look a little bit better. This is a pretty large little chick, so I'm gonna use this one down on my big bottom tear tray and kind of see if I can bury it down in the nesting a little bit. So just gluing that on and trimming the edges and there we are, ready to go. He's so cute. So I'm gonna put him down here on the right side. Again, just kind of burying his back end a little bit in the nesting. So it's not real obvious that he's a giant stuffed animal there. But that is a fun little chick to get us started on this little chick tear tray. Isn't he cute? Okay, I wanted to do a couple more chicks. So I got a couple of these little wind up chicks from the Dollar Tree that you wind up and they like uh, hop across uh, the table. And I thought these would be a great idea. Um, I went ahead and got two. I was considering whether I should take the little legs off. You totally can if you want, but I thought that might give it a little bit more height and make it stick out above the nesting a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the little winders on there. I'm just gonna kind of turn it this direction when I put them on here so you can't really see it's a little wind up toy. I want it to look just like a little chick decoration. So we're gonna put one down here on the bottom and then we're gonna do the other one up here on the second tier. And these are really cute. I think they gave a nice fun um, pop of yellow and a nice little cute little chick. And just turning that again so you can't really see the little wind up on there. And the next two items I got at the Target dollar spot in a tier tray builder kit. You got three for $3 and I already used one piece on my Easter coffee bar. These are the other two pieces. The little truck is a rustic truck full of eggs. It's absolutely perfect. And then the egg is a little yellow gingham egg. And the only thing I'm gonna do to that is just very, very lightly weather that with some ivory paint and wipe off the excess with a baby wipe just to give it a little bit of a weathered appearance to kind of go with everything that I have so far. So we're gonna dry that real quick and we can pop both of these little tear tray starter pack items on our tear tray. So I'm gonna do the egg I think here on the second tier and then I'm gonna do the little truck full of eggs down here on the bottom kind of in the front and I'm really trying to go with all those pastel Easter colors. And I think that's gonna be really cute. Okay, up next is a little sign I wanna make using one of these little um, egg signs from the Dollar Tree. You get two in a package. I'm just gonna use one 
And they have these in all different colors. I got the blue ones. And then I want to make a little chick sign. So I thought it would be really cute to do a little wooden chick on the front of our egg. So that is one of those eight packs from the Dollar Tree as well. And that's going to fit on our little egg nicely to make a cute little sign for our tear tray. Um, for the um, little chick, I want to go ahead and try at least to fill in the little hole on the top just because I already have a hole in the egg as well and it's going to be kind of hard to cover up both of those. So it didn't turn out perfect, but good enough. And then I love the color of this little blue egg, but again, I want to weather it just very lightly using a chunky brush from the Dollar Tree and just a little bit of ivory acrylic paint, wiping off any excess. And it's going to give me that nice um, farmhouse feel to that sign. Now I'm trying to get the little spackle dried on our little chick. And then I'm going to sand off the excess and we're going to go in and paint this this bright yellow color. I got this at Target and this is Sun Bright Yellow. And I'm just going to use a little makeup sponge from the Dollar Tree and very carefully just paint that all over in yellow. I'm just going to do it all one color. I want it to look very abstract. And that's going to give us another punch of yellow for this tear tray. So all I'm going to do is dry that little chick and then um, weather it as well with a little bit of that ivory paint. And then we all I got to do is put the two pieces together and make our little sign for the tear tray. So I'm just going to attach the chick to the front with just a little bit of hot glue. And then I do want to cover that little hole like on the top of the egg. And so to do that, I'm just going to do like a very um, simple bow. I'm just going to cut off a piece of twine and just tie a little bow and glue that over the hole. And that will take care of that. I, I hate it when people leave like the holes exposed. It just bothers me. <laughs> So I'm just trying to give it a finishing touch. And then I also want um, this little sign to stand up on its own. And so to do that, I just went and grabbed a couple of those little um, Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use two. I'm going to attach them together with a little hot glue. And then I'm just going to hot glue that on to the back of our sign so that it will stand up on its own. And this is a nice height little sign. I think it's going to be perfect down um, on one of my lower tiers here. I think I'm actually going to do it on the middle tier. So I'm going to put it kind of like over here where I have this one already. So I'm going to move this one over on this side. When you're making a tier tray, it's all about like rearranging and getting things exactly the way that you want them. And I think that looks really cute. And it gives me a nice little chick for the side of my tear tray. Okay, up next I want to do a little flower arrangement. So to start with, I'm going to use a little tin bucket from the Dollar Tree. This one is in a really beautiful pastel color of blue. And I want to fill it with some daffodils. So I'm going to go in and do the same thing I did on the others. I'm going to use just a little bit of ivory paint and that chunky brush. And I'm just going to very lightly distress it just because it was very solid and trying to look, make it look kind of weathered like everything else that we've been using. So just kind of going all over, working in one direction and lightly distressing that. And then for the front of the bucket, I thought it would be cute to decorate it with a little chick. So I'm going to use one of these little wooden chicks from the Dollar Tree. But first, I'm going to paint this. I'm going to paint this in that same yellow color with a makeup sponge, which these work wonderful for this. And just lightly sponge the top. And we are ready to uh, decorate the front of our little tin bucket. I um, am just going to glue that on with a little bit of hot glue. It's not a sticker. It's just like a little wood piece. So I thought like maybe like right here in the center, just a little dot of hot glue. And we're going to have a little Easter bucket to fill with flowers. So I'm going to use um, one of those little round floral foam pieces from the Dollar Tree. Those things work perfectly in these little buckets from the Dollar Tree. 
And it's actually one I've used before, but that's okay. I'm just gonna push it down in there and we can start arranging our daffodils. I thought daffodils would be perfect because they really look like spring and they're bright yellow, just like the little Easter chicks. So I kind of wanted to save my greenery, so I kind of pushed it all to the top before I started cutting off the individual flowers and arranging those in our arrangement. I'm just using my little floral scissors there from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna go ahead and use the whole bunch. I love to leave the greenery on these, but once I get them all in here, I decide that greenery is a little too long. I thought about trimming it, but I didn't know if I could really make it look right. So once I have it all together, I do take the ones off that did have leaves and just take that off because again, I just think they were a little bit too long. And I'm trying to fill the bucket as full as I can so that you won't be able to see that foam below and I won't have to use anything to cover that up. Just a cute little daffodil arrangement for the bottom of our tear tray. I think that's the only place that this one is going to fit because of its height. And here's our little chick bucket of daffodils. So I'm gonna put this one kind of back here on the left side, arranging that down in my nesting material. And I really like the blue and the yellow together. It's a nice contrast. And we are ready to go. I wanted to make a little egg chick. So I'm gonna use one of these little chunky wood signs from the Dollar Tree that's an egg shape. And I thought I could try to make it look like a chick for Easter. So I'm gonna use that same yellow acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint that raw wood one coat is plenty, and I thought it'd be really easy to make an egg look like a little chick. So <laughs> I'm just gonna paint all the edges until I get one good coat of yellow on there. And I do go in and um, distress this as well, like I did on all the others, with just a little bit of ivory. I really hope you're enjoying this Easter tear tray DIY today. If you are, please take a moment to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And leave a comment below your favorite DIY today or just say hello. I would really appreciate it. So once I get that nice and weathered like I did everything else, I'm ready to transform this little egg into a chick. So I'm just using an orange paint pen and I'm gonna do like an upside down triangle here for the little beak for our chick. Super easy to make a little chick with just a little beak and eyes. So I kind of do just a triangle and then I kind of arch like the top of the triangle a little bit to make it look a little bit more like a beak. And then I'm going to also use a paint pen um, for the eyes and just do a couple of circles for the eyes and we're gonna have our little chick face super cute I would also like to take the opportunity to invite you to our Facebook group Some of my crafty beach bum watchers wanted a Facebook group so they could share what they've been making as well And we have it over on Facebook. I will post a link below and All you have to do is come over and join us on Facebook we would love to have you. And the final touch I thought for this little chick would be a little feather. So I have some of these feathers from the Dollar Tree and I just found a yellow one. And I thought it'd be really cute to attach that to the top of our little chick head. With just a little bit of hot glue. I was just trying to get my eyes even. Um, I found that that paint did kind of um, kind of move around a little bit, kind of making one eye bigger than the other. So I'm just trying to um, even those up. And then I'm also gonna distress over the eyes and the beak as well to kind of go with the rest of the vibe. And I'm gonna kind of lean this so I'm not gonna need a stand or anything for this little chick. So I think this little egg chick is ready to go on our tear tray. I'm gonna put him down here on the bottom and kind of lean him up against the pole and he's so cute. I really love that project. 
just trying to get him in there until he's kind of on the bottom and standing up there straight. And here is our next look at this. I love these Easter wood beads from the Dollar Tree. I got three different kinds this year, and this is the little chick one. And it's also pastel colors. It's got a beautiful tassel on it. For $1.25, you can't beat it. And the only thing I'm going to do is do a very light distress with the ivory on our little chick, just to kind of make it go with the rest of our projects that we did today. And the yellow, the pink, and the white beads are perfect. And it's going to be a great addition to our little chick tear tray. Isn't it cute? Thank you, Dollar Tree, for doing all the work there for me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put it on the second tier where the little chick is kind of like hanging over to one side. And then I'm going to string it around where it hangs down into like the bottom tier. This isn't as long, I don't think, as the carrot one that I used the other day. But it's long enough to get down to the um, third tier for me. So that's how we're going to arrange that. Super cute. And how easy is that, right? I love it. Okay, I thought we needed a few more eggs. So I thought I would use some of these speckled eggs from the Dollar Tree. I just try to want to fill up my tear tray as much as I can. I am opening two packages here of the six packs, but... I end up only needing about one. And these are already pastel colors and speckled. And so I think these are going to be a perfect addition to our little string eggs that we've already used to fill this up. So I'm just going to kind of go around and put one here or there. And um, just fill it up a little bit more. Because I don't have a lot of items for this tear tray. And it's a pretty big tear tray. So just kind of arranging those in there and it's going to add a little bit of variety too to the eggs where they're not all just the string eggs. And I think that tier is pretty full. This tier is pretty full. There was a little bit of dead space here and there on the bottom. And so just going to put a couple of eggs around there as well. And I think we pretty much have a pretty full little Easter chick and egg tear tray. The last final touch I wanted to add was some more color. So I got some of this pom-pom garland in all these different pastel colors. So what I did was I measured each tier and then I cut off a different color for each tier. I just attached with a dot of hot glue on the back and wrap the little pom-pom garland around. We're going to do pink on the top, green on the middle, and pastel blue on the bottom. I also have this in yellow, but since I've already used so much yellow, I decided to use the pink, the blue, and the green. So again, all you got to do is measure and attach, and I love um, how much color and fun this added to our tear tray. Now, on this green one, when I went to attach it, I noticed it did have like a little defect in it. And it's kind of like right in the front. I noticed it after I start <laughs> gluing it on, but it's no big deal. It's just one of the little pom-poms there is like, like longer than the others. And the band is kind of skinny and missing. Maybe where it got pulled in production or something like that. But I decided to kind of go with it and go ahead and attach it. And I can always just go back and repair that one. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? It's kind of funny. So I'm going to glue that one on. To repair it, I am just going to cut off one more piece of like the pom-pom with the little um, ribbon attached. And then I'm just going to go trim that one off and glue that one onto the top with my hot glue. And almost good as new, right? <laughs> a little problem solving there for Dollar Tree. And we're going to do the same thing down here on the bottom. This one, we're going to use this pretty blue color. And I love attaching ribbon to the outside of my tear trays, especially like the galvanized metal ones that have like the wide sides. It really adds another little aspect. I got this idea from one of my... 
sorority sisters from college. I think I saw she did always does ribbon like on, on the outside of her tear trays. And I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. I love it. And this pom-pom garland is a perfect. <laughs> and this one was a little bigger and I was trying not to block the camera, but we do get wrapped around there. I was trying to get wrapped around without twisting it, keeping it all in the same direction and gluing this one on. Um, I do notice uh, when I use hot glue on the outside of my tear trays, sometimes it does damage it slightly, so you might want to use double stick tape. And this is the final reveal for this Easter tear tray. Super cute. I love the chicks and egg combo. Somebody did correct me that that one over on the right is a duck and not a chick. And you're absolutely right. But it still looks cute. It's yellow and orange, right? And just super easy using the different eggs and the Spanish moss in there kind of gave it like a nest feel. And I'm really loving all of that yellow. Super cute. And you've made it all the way to the final reveal. Thank you for joining me today. Hopefully you got lots of crafting inspiration for your Easter tear tray this year. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button. Comment your favorite tear tray or DIY below. Or just come say hello in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the final reveal. Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of go out You're in my mind I close my eyes So it's just you and I And I tell myself You'll be back again 
Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of today's video that always helps my videos do better and I also want to give a huge thank you to the following crafty beach bumps for supporting my channel here on YouTube thank you to Karen O'Haran, Melinda Elizabeth, Jamie Job, Susan Edmonds, Carrie R, Tracy Knight, Nancy Wunner, Julie Miller, Tammy Coates, Janae Farrington, Pamelia Wren, Maria Grace, Donna Schreiner, Sandy C, and Iris Cornelius. Thank you so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And if you'd like more Dollar Tree DIYs, YouTube thinks you might enjoy this video right here. Until then, happy crafting.